It's about raising up people to serve God. Now look at me, look at my life. When I can help people like this, when I can help people like this, I can strengthen many Christians and train people to serve God. That God can use me greatly. Do you want to be like me? Yes. Now, okay. Now, but I want to say you won't be like me exactly. But you can serve God like me. Do you want to be serving God like me? Yes. I hope you hunger for that. He said to Jesus, raise up your hand and say to Jesus, I want to serve God. I want to obey God. Okay, raise up your hand. Say it together. I want to serve God. I want to be used by God. I want God to bless my life. I want to bless many people in this world. I want to be used by God. Jesus can use me. Jesus can raise up my life. Jesus can lift up my life. If I can bring people into in heaven, God is happy with that. And I can bring many people to heaven. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 You can turn around. Okay. Now, I'm going to give a teaching about how to motivate people to serve God. First, I want to motivate you to serve God. And God has given me an idea of a house. On top of the house, the top part, the top part says, no one can, uh, everything is in God's hand and no one can run away from God. Now, say this again, uh, and then have some say it after you. Everything is in God's hand. And no one can run away from God. Do you believe that everything is in God's hand? Can you run away from God? No. Okay. Now the Bible verse is Psalm 24, 1. The earth is the Lord's and everything in it. You can just use this one. So everything in the world belongs to the Lord. Your life belongs to the Lord. And God can use your life. Have you heard of Bruce Lee in, in Hong Kong? In, you know, the Chinese called Bruce Lee? Have you heard of this name? How many of you have heard of Bruce Lee? Wow, so many, huh? You know, Bruce Lee is very good in Kung Fu. And he demonstrated this. He just touched someone's body with a finger. And then he just spared his finger. It's called an inch strength. In one inch, he will go like this. And knock the person down. Just he is very powerful. His last movie was called The Game of Death. 
Death is like a king. Kifo ni kama mfalme. In the middle of the movie, when he produced this movie, ali, ali, na, ali kanda, he suddenly died. Ali kufa and he died not in his home. Kufa hata kiwa kwake. He died in the home of a woman. Ali kufa akiwa kwenye chumba cha mke so there are all kinds of rumors Kulikuwa na uongo na semi tofauti. Then he had sex with this woman. And for some reason he died. Fulani ama alikula madawa fulani ya he thought he's very strong and powerful. Wake ulikuwa mguvu sana, alikuwa mwenye mguvu. You know, one time I came across a Chinese who knew Bruce Lee. And this Chinese had done Kung Fu with Bruce Lee. And years later when this man saw Bruce Lee, Bruce Lee said, let's try to do some Kung Fu. And then Bruce Lee kicked him. And then he flew away. He saw the power of Bruce Lee. And then this man said to him, you know, Jesus, this is very good. And Bruce Lee said, Bruce Lee akasema, you know, someone like me don't need Jesus. And he thinks he's very powerful. And in his of his movie making God wants to show him who is in control is it Bruce Lee or God who has everything in his hand is it Bruce Lee or God so God took his life Mungu alichukua maisha ya Bruce Lee. And he could not do anything. Na hangeweza na hataweza kufanya kitu chochote. So you see that no one can run away from God. Unaona hilo ni wazi kwamba huwezi kutoroka Mungu. Now have you heard of this ship the famous ship um, what is it called? Sunday for God. The name of the ship that sank. The said that even God cannot sink the ship. Umewahi sikia hii mashua ambayo hata hakuna kitu chochote ambacho kinaweza zambisha mashua hiyo. The ship was built very powerful. Does anyone remember the Titanic? Titanic. 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 You know the people said even God cannot save the ship. Of Titanic. Titanic. But the first trip of Titanic, Lakini, uh, God showed them who is the master. Mungu ni nani and the ship hit an iceberg. Na iyo Even though the ship has many chambers, iwapo, uh, iyo na bingi, if one chamber breaks, the other chambers can still keep the ship floating. But when they hit the iceberg, a few chambers were hit. And the ship sank. So God showed them that God can sink the ship. You know, many Christians think they can run away from God. They think I'm very smart. Wait until I'm old and then I'll serve God. They think that they, you know, they can outsmart God. But the Bible says everything in the world belongs to the Lord. No one can run away. And then in Revelation 2, 23. I am he who searches hearts and minds, and I will repay each one of you according to your deeds. Right now, God sees your heart right now. 
And you want Jesus to be your king in your heart. And you obey God. All these good things will be added to you. And it's Psalm 3410. The lions may grow weak and hungry, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. Simba anaweza kuwa mdhaifu na mnyonge zaidi lakini wale wanao mtima ni ya Bwana hawatakosa kitu chochote. You know, lions sometimes get hungry for one. Unajua Simba anaweza kuishi njaa mpaka aishe nguvu. But those who seek the Lord lakini wale wanao mtima ni ya Bwana they will lack no good things. Wa hawatakosa kitu kizuri chochote unachokihitaji. And God will bless them. Na Mungu atawabariki. So this first part here let kidogo Mmesikieni verse kweli? Yes. Psalms 34. 10. Psalms 34:10. Umeisikia vizuri kweli? Yes. Imesema aje? It has said, imesema ya kwamba simba anaweza ishiwa nguvu. Lakini yule anayemtumainia Bwana, mambo mazuri hayatakoma kwa maisha yake. Good. Yes. Okay. So you see that When we love God and obey God, blessings will come. Unagundua ya kwamba unapompenda Mungu na kumheshimu baraka zinakujia. Have you experienced that? Je, umewahi ona baraka maishani mwako? How many have? Kwa ngapi umewahi ona baraka ndani ya maisha yako? When you love God and obey God, na ikiwa unampenda Mungu unaona baraka zinatendeka maishani mwako, beba mkono tuone. Now praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Very good. Amen. Okay. Now, the next part. Everyone who serves God will be blessed. You lay out an end to my near one and to be a one at a very key one. Now, Jesus wants to make it easy for everyone. Yes, and I think we find that you are easy in Kokila Moda by Q. Jesus did not say you have to bring someone to Jesus before you can be blessed. Yes, how to say my poor will let you to plan the mansion and work out my work and your way to work. Jesus make it easy for each one of us. I may find that you go at a easy son and quit you. Then, even a cup of cold water, Jesus will bless. Mark 9:41. Eh, Mark 9:41. 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 Mark Ya kwamba yule yeyote anayewapeana nyinyi anayewapea nyinyi hata kikombe cha maji hata poteza tunuku yake. So if you give a cup of cold water to someone because he's a Christian, ikiwa utampea mtu kikombe cha maji kwa sababu yeye ni Mkristo, you will not lose reward. Hautapoteza tunuku yako kutoka kwa Mungu. Is it hard to give a cup of cold water? Je, ni vigumu kupea mtu kikombe cha maji? Is it hard? Hello. Ni vigumu kupea mtu kikombe cha maji. So we can all do that. Tunaweza fanya haya sisi wote. But when you can give one cup of cold water, ikiwa unaenda pea mtu kikombe kimoja cha maji, can you do more? Je, waweza fanya zaidi ya hapo? Yes. Can you smile with someone? Unaweza tabasamu kwa mtu? Yes. Can you welcome someone? Unaweza karibisha mtu? Yes. Can you help them spiritually? Unaweza kusaidia mtu kiroho? And can you pray for them? Yes. And can you pray for someone? Yes. Do you want to try to do this? Now if a cup of cold water, you can get reward. When you serve God more, na ukitumikia Mungu you get more rewards unapata kutunukiwa zaidi okay now we go to the left side na sasa tunaenda kwa hatua nyingine galatians 6:8 wa galatia 6:8 whoever sows to please the flesh from the flesh will reap destruction yeyote yule anayepanda kufurahisha mwili atavuna uharibifu so when someone Please his flesh. Ndiye yote ambaye anafanya juhudi za kujifurahisha mwili wake. By having premarital sex. Kwa kufanya ngono za kabla ya kuoleka. Or just you know following simple ways. Kwa kujipata katika hali ambazo ni za 
kidambi they get angry kukasirika they get upset kuku kukasirishwa all these things can bring destruction haya mambo yote yatakuletea uharibifu now if a person continue live in sin ikiwa mtu anaendelea kuishi katika dhambi there will be more and more destruction kutakuwa na uharibifu zaidi maishani mwake let me ask you what are you saying if you be a house like this ikiwa unajenga nyumba jinsi hii would you say well the house uh, is so big utasema kweli nyumba ni kubwa sana I can destroy one part of it. Ninaweza aribu sehemu moja kwa sababu ni kubwa sana. So you go to one part of the house. Kwa hivyo unaenda sehemu moja ya nyumba unaona ni kubwa unataka uliniangalia. And you say this part can be destroyed. Unasema kwamba hii sehemu ni kubwa sana hata tuiharibu. I can destroy this part. Niharibu sehemu moja kwa sababu hii nyumba ni kubwa sana. Would you do it to your house? Je, unaweza fanya hivyo kwa nyumba yako? No. I can break this window. Let's break this. Ninaweza kuhitimisha kwa sababu hii nyumba ni kubwa sana. You don't want to, right? Yes, you are we tell you funny was it you? If you don't want to break the window, do you want to break your life? Je, kama hautaki kuvunja dirisha, unataka kuvunja maisha yako? Do you want to say, well, it's okay I lose a finger. I'll let's break my finger. Eh, unaweza sema kwamba haina haja hata nikipoteza kidole, mwanze kukata kidole chako. I can lose a finger, I'll cut out the finger. Ninaweza kupoteza kidole hichi, kwa hivyo naweza kuanza kukikata, mwanze kukikata. I can cut on my ear. Kama useme anaweza kata masikio yangu. Do you want to do that? Je, waweza fanya hivyo? When people sin, wakati watu hutenda dhambi, they are bringing destruction to the life. Wanaleta uharibifu maishani mwao. Now in John chapter 5 verse 14. Yohana 5:14. Yohana 5:14. The last part says, kifungo cha mwisho sentence ya mwisho inasema, stop sinning or something worse may happen to you. Wacha kutenda dhambi ijapo kitu kibaya kitakutendekea. So Jesus said, don't sin anymore. If not, the worst things will happen to you. Yesu anasema, acha dhambi kwa kuwa kitu kibaya kitakuja kukutendekea. Now, there are people who go to church kuna watu ambao huenda kanisani jinsi tumekuta hivi. And they keep having premarital sex. Na wanaendelea kuhusiana kingono kabla ya kuolewa. Or they keep being angry with people. Au wanaendelea kukuwa na hasira na kadhabu na watu. Or don't forgive people. Ama hawasamei watu wengine. They can face destruction. Wao pia watakumbana na uharibifu kadhabu ya Mungu. And worse and worse things will happen to them. Na mambo mabaya zaidi yatatendeka maisha ni mwao. Okay, and then the last part na sehemu ya mwisho about not serving God ambaye inahusiana na kutumikia Mungu Now I want to say one thing first Nataka kusema kitu kimoja kwanza We are saved not by good works say it together Hatusema ya kwamba hatujaokoka kwa maneno mazuri We are saved by trusting in Jesus as our savior Tunaokoka kwa kumwamini Yesu kama mwokozi wetu We are not saved by what we do. Hatujakombolewa ama kuokoka kwa yale tunayoyatenda. We are saved by Jesus. Tunaokomba tunaokolewa na Yesu. But when we believe in Jesus, lakini tunapomwamini Mungu Yesu, we will bear fruit. Tunazaa matunda. If we don't bear fruit, iwapo hatuzalisha matunda, there is something wrong with the faith. Inamaanisha kuna kitu kibaya na imani yetu. And faith without works is dead. Na imani bila matendo ni imekufa. Now in Matthew 25 it has three parables about the end time. Matayo 25 ina gunzo tatu ambazo zinaelezea kuhusu nyakati za mwisho. And in the second parable the one the man buried the one talent in the ground. Katika gunzo ya kwanza kuna mwanaume alijenga chimo kubwa chini ya ardhi. And Jesus said, "You wicked lazy servant." Na Yesu akamwambia, "Wewe mtumishi mvivu." And throw that worthless servant into the darkness. Na akatupa ule mtumishi mvivu kwenye giza. Let me ask you, the darkness is it heaven? 
eh, ukiwa ukiza ni bingu ni kweli darkness is is darkness heaven je yeah. giza ni bingu ni darkness is hell ukiza ni kuzimu so this person bears his talents he can face destruction or even hell huyu mtu aliyezika talanta zake alizikwa alichukwa kwenye kuzimu I say again, we're not saved by doing good. We're not saved by doing good. Hatuokoki kwa kutenda mazuri. But when we are saved, we want to serve God. Lakini tunapookoka ni vizuri tutumainie kumtendea kumtumikia Mungu. We don't use them for God. Tunapozika talanta zetu hatumtumkii Mungu. We can face destruction. Tunaweza kukumbana na uharibifu wa Mungu. And then in Matthew 25 the last parable about the sheep and the goats. Matayo 25 eh good story ya mwisho ambayo inaelezea mbuzi na kondoo. And the sheep has done this different things to Jesus to the one of the little ones. Mbuzi na kondoo ametenda mambo haya mazuri kwa Mungu. And we have eternal life. Na ana ana uzima wa milele. But then those who don't Do it to the little ones. Na wale ambao hawatendei wadogo wao mazuri, they can enter eternal destruction. Wataingia katika uharibifu wa milele. So I'm telling you, kwa hivyo ninawaambia ni when we serve God, tukimtumikia Mungu, when we serve God, God is very happy. Tukimtumikia Mungu, Mungu anakuwa mwenye furaha. God knows that. Mungu anajua hayo. God will bless you. Mungu atakubariki. And from your young age, katika umri wako mdogo huu, you say I want to learn to serve God. Sema nataka kuishi kumtumikia Mungu. I want to learn to bless people. Nataka kujifunza kubariki watu. God will use you. Mungu atakutumikia. And bless your life. Atabariki maisha yako. And your life will go higher and higher. Uta maisha yako yanazidi kupaa juu na juu zaidi. From your young age, kutoka umri wako mdogo, you start preparing yourself to serve God. Unaanza kujiandaa kumtumikia Mungu. God is very happy. Mungu atakuwa mwenye furaha. And you can go online if you can go online. Nataka kuwauliza wengine wenu ambao wanaweza ingia kwenye mtandao. Go to YouTube. Ingia kwenye YouTube and look for Pastor Yip. Uangalie jina yake. Why IP? Why IP? Now the name is on that building. You can see. Jina hilo liko kwenye hapo. It is on that building. Jina liko hapo juu. Now, if you look for Pastor Yip Ukimwangalia mchungaji Yip, you see many teachings. Utapata mafundisho mengi sana. Many in Chinese. Yale ambayo amefundisha kule China. But many also in English. Na ile ambayo amefundisha kwa Kizungu. So you can learn to serve God. Kwa hivyo unaweza jifunza kumtumikia Mungu. Okay. Do you want to serve God? Je, unatamani kumtumikia Mungu? Do you want to love God? Je, unatamani kumpenda Mungu? And live out the wonderful plan of God. Na uishi katika mipango mema ya Mungu. And like me one day na ukue kama yeye wakati mmoja bless many people ubariki watu wengi okay let us stand up wacha tusimame kwa miguu zetu and pray this to jesus na tuombe ombi hili kwa yesu lord jesus sema yesu kristo please help me tafadhali mungu nisaidie to love you nikupende to obey you nikutii to have a close relationship with you kuwe na uhusiano wa karibu na wewe and to serve you nikutumikie we can be used by god niwelele na mungu lord jesus yesu kristo you are the master of the universe wewe ni mungu mkuu wa wa wanaokuamini Everything is in your hand. Kila jambo li mikono ni mwako. We cannot run away from you. Atuwezi kukutoroka Bwana. When we follow your plan, tukifuata mipango yako, a whole life will be blessed. Maisha yetu yote yatabarikiwa. But if we don't follow your plan, ni wapo tutafuata mipango zako. We will face destruction. Tutakumbwa na uharibifu. Now raise up your hand to God. Inua mikono zako mbele za Bwana. Say Jesus I want to serve you. Sema Yesu nataka kutumikia. Jesus I want to love you. Yesu nataka kupenda. I want to serve you. Nataka kutumikia Yesu. I want to obey you. Nataka kukutii Yesu. I want to be used by God. Nataka kuwa utumiwa na wewe Yesu. I don't want to have premarital sex. Sitaki kuhusika kwenye ngono za mapema. I don't want to have adultery. Sitaki kukuwa kwenye uzinzi. I can be used by God. Naweza kutumiwa na Yesu. Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu. I need Jesus. Nakuhitaji Yesu. Following Jesus is the best. Kukupata Yesu ndio ni vyema. No one can run away from Jesus. Kuna mungu anaweza When I seek God's kingdom, nikitafuta ufalme wa Mungu, and his righteousness, na utakatifu wake, all these things will be added to me. Mambo mengine haya yatazidi. Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu.